Hello, welcome to iFocus Tutorials. In this video, I am going to explain the concept of tuples in Python. Tuples are again the sequences which are similar to list. The difference in using tuples and list are tuples use parentheses whereas a list use a square brackets to represent it. Now there are multiple ways uh, in which uh, we can create our tuples. Uh, so I am creating uh, the first uh, tuple as a uh, Let's uh, take uh, example as uh, some strings. Uh, so first is a uh, maths. Second, uh, I'm taking it as a uh, let's say science. Third, I'm taking element as a uh, English. And uh, fourth element, I'm taking as a, a single inverted comma, which is a uh, history. So whenever we create a tuple uh, and it is of strings then we can uh, list uh, them in a uh, double inverted commas or in single inverted commas both are uh, allowed in python so now if i print uh, my tuple one so it will list all the elements in my tuple similarly i can uh, create my second tuple which is of uh, numbers so if i say these are my numbers which is uh, containing decimal numbers also so uh, again it is uh, allowed so tube 2 if i print it or display it it is giving me all the elements in my second tuple similarly i can uh, create my third tuple as a, a combination also uh, of a string and numbers so again it is possible so let's uh, take a uh, element as a uh, english my second element is uh, some number the third element is again uh, some element uh, that is a string fourth element is uh, a decimal number so if i print uh, my third tuple so it is giving me entire elements in my tuple so again this is possible the fourth way to create any tuple is uh, only listing the elements means uh, i am not giving any uh, parenthesis here i am directly taking elements as a uh, let's say english second element is a uh, let's say a number third element is a uh, let's say some uh, again a uh, string fourth element is a uh, again a string so if i say tube 4 then it will give me all the elements and it will add a parenthesis here so which means that when we create uh, a tuple all the elements in it will be considered as a tuple now we can create uh, an empty tuple also so if i say tube uh, 5 is equal to and only i give a parenthesis here and uh, if i print my tuple here i'll uh, get an empty parenthesis here which means that i can create an empty tuple also but an important point to note is that when we are creating a tuple with a single value then it is quite tricky why just i'll show you so i'm creating i'm replacing my first tuple again and uh, i'm creating element uh, let's take an example of 56 so if you check here and i print my tuple whenever i was printing my tuple previously every time parenthesis was added at my display point but here if you observe 56 is displayed as it is which means that a tuple has not been created now what if i have to create a tuple with a single value then what i have to do i have to give a comma here which means that it will be considered that this is a tuple so now if you check and i'll print here so a parenthesis has been added here which means that a tuple has been created now now i can create a tuple which uh, has uh, elements like uh, a list and also a tuple inside a tuple so i'll show you how we can again i'm replacing my tuple one so first uh, element is a uh, let's say i'm taking a cat uh, second element i am creating a list inside a tuple so let's take uh, examples as uh, some numbers and now i am creating the third element uh, as a tuple only in which uh, i have elements as a let's say english and uh, let's say some number and uh, the third element is a uh, let's say again a string so 
now if you print my tuple 1 so it will give me square bracket indicates that it is a list so there is a list inside this tuple there is a second tuple inside this entire tuple and the first element is a single element so now how we can access this tuple uh, which are contains multiple elements in it or which contains a list in it so it is very easy tube 1 and uh, uh, I have to take a square bracket to access the elements if I say 0 it will show me a cat now if I say tube 1 it will give me my second element which is a list if I say tube 2 then it will show me a tuple which has three elements in it what if I have to access the elements in my list so that is also possible so what I have to do first I have to take one because a list is my uh, is at my first position of uh, my tuple and uh, again a square bracket to access the elements in my tuple so 23 as uh, at uh, the zeroth position 45 is at the first position 65 is at the second position so if I want to access 65 what I have to do I have to place a 2 here so if you observe here 65 has been printed similarly if I consider this tuple then English is at the 0th position 67 is at the first position and history is at the second position so if I want to access English but this English is at the third position of this entire tuple that is third position means counting will be 2 so how I have to give my instruction so tube 1 in a square bracket first that is a 2 because uh, this uh, entire tuple is uh, at the second position and I have to access English which is at the first position so 0. So if you observe here English has been printed here. Now uh, similar to list uh, I can uh, access uh, my values in the tuple by multiple values also means uh, if I say tube 1 and in a square bracket if I say 0 to 1 so it will give me only the first element why because starting index is 0 and uh, ending index is 1 but 1 will not be printed now if I say here 2 so what it has been printed first element means starting index is 0 0 is nothing but my cat element and uh, second element is my list which contains three elements in it that is 23 45 and 65 and second element is uh, that is second position two position is for my this tuple but this tuple is not been printed because uh, always the element which is one less than the final parameter will be printed to get the information about the tutorials press the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification now what if I try to change uh, my elements in my tuple so I'll try to change it uh, tube 1 and I'll try to change my first element only so I'm uh, replacing uh, my first element by uh, let's say science so if you observe here there is an error why because tuples are immutable now what if I try to change uh, the element in my list which is uh, inside my tuple so I am changing uh, the element uh, of uh, second position to science then uh, it is not giving me an error now if I try to print it if you observe here here there was a number but now it has been replaced by science why because list are mutable which means that we can change the elements inside the list but tuples are immutable so this first element when I was accessing this first element it was possible but when I was going to change my element name then it was giving me an error now I'll try to change the element in this uh, tuple so let's uh, check uh, whether it is possible or not so I am uh, changing uh, 2 and 2 so again it is giving me an error why again these three elements are as considered as a tuple only which means that we can't uh, change the values inside a tuple 
again to remove an individual element inside a tuple is not possible now if i want to uh, delete uh, any tuple that is possible so if i say delete uh, tube 1 then uh, entire tube 1 will be deleted and uh, now if i try to print it then it is uh, giving me an error that tube 1 is not defined why because uh, every element in my tuple 1 has been deleted here so now i'll uh, create uh, again a uh, tube 1 uh, which uh, contains uh, let's say numbers uh, which uh, contains a uh, less let's say an uh, list also and uh, again a tuple so taking an example of numbers only so tube 1 if i print it i am getting it uh, at the output i am creating another tuple by the name tube 2 so in this uh, i have elements like uh, cat i have element like uh, dog i have uh, element like uh, let's say horse and uh, the operation which is uh, allowed on tuple is a concatenation operation which means that we can add two tuples so if i say tube 1 plus tube 2 so it is giving me tube 1 first and then the elements at tube 2 will be added at the end so concatenation operation is also possible on tuples now if i say i want a repetition of uh, my tuple so if i say let's say tube 2 into 3 so if you observe here three times i am getting my output means cat dog and horse where my elements in my tuple two so it has been repeated three times means repetition operation is also possible in tuple similarly if i want to calculate uh, the length that is a uh, number of elements present in my tuple then a uh, length operation is also possible so let's uh, take an example of tube 2 so it is giving me 3 which means that there are 3 elements in my second tuple now if i want to check uh, this uh, horse element is uh, at which position in my tuple 2 then it is possible by using the function of index means if i say tube 2 dot index function and uh, if i give uh, the element name that is a uh, horse so it is giving me two why because if you observe here cat will be at a zeroth position dog will be at first position and this horse element will be at the second position so it is giving me two so if you want to check the indexing of any element in tuple that also is possible now if i want to check uh, how many times an element is present in my tuple so that is also possible counting is possible i'll uh, check uh, the element uh, that is a uh, three in tuple one dot count and let's say three so if you observe here it is giving me one why because this element three is listed only a single time i'll try for one so just check the output now so it is again giving me one why because even if i have two times one but this one is considered as a part of the list so this one will not be printed so only it has counted this one why because it is a single element which is present in my tuple so in this way we can uh, use uh, multiple functions for a tuple also some of the functions that uh, we have seen in the previous video that is for list that also are allowed for a tuple so you can apply those uh, functions also in case of tuples